sandpiper can go along this foundation wall. This red spare paint, this uh, circle shows the uh, first downspout, so that'll come from the gutter on the roof down to what'll be piping in the ground. The dirt will be backfilled approximately to here, so the pipe will be under the ground. This red line goes all the way along, there'll be uh, four inch uh, white piping, which is this piping here on the ground, all the way down to this other X, which will be the other downspout. Uh, the size of the garage and the way it's set up, I only need two downspouts. Um, a lot of times you'll see the piping wrapped all the way around the foundation. I don't need to do that in this case. So in my case, I'll have a downspout there, piping, a downspout, this drain basin um, will be right here on top of this big red circle. And it is what will filter all the debris that goes down your gutters, uh, down the downspouts and into this. And that prevents it from going into the infiltration pits. So this uh, line here will be the next pipe comes out of that barrel, comes across. This is a 124 square foot infiltration pit, so it's 12 by 12. It'll be three feet deep. There'll be two feet of um, clean one inch drain rock in here, and there'll be a foot of dirt over the top. Um, the pipe comes in, it tees, and it goes into two legs of uh, same size piping, but the pipe will actually have holes in the bottom. It's really important those holes get positioned down. Uh, you'll see some follow on videos that show all this happening. <laughs>
right, we're gluing together the uh, other downspout. Saved you guys the hassle of watching me having to put all the primer on. I even pre-assembled a couple of the pieces. So this time, it should go a little faster. There it is. So there's the catch basin. I'll, uh, I'll put some dirt up against this to hold it back in place and uh, should line up all perfectly. This is the other downspout. These will get cut off flush and there's an adapter that goes on like I was saying for the uh, gutters. And uh, we'll show you the uh, pipe and go down to the infiltration pit here in a minute. Okay, as you can see, we've got the uh, I-Pit all done. We've got about our foot of drain rock down, and now we're putting the, uh, the drain pipe on top of it. This piping here, these two legs, um, they're both capped on the ends. You can see the cap we already glued on. And on the bottom, we have two rows of holes, about 45 apart on each other. Those holes point down. Both those runs, uh, they tie into the T and the 90, and they run up to the uh, separation pit that's up there. This green piece, you can just ignore that, pretend it's white. That was a scrap piece I had over from when we built, left over from when we built the house, so just pretend it's white and there's, no, there's nothing to that. <laughs> pit and the piping around the foundation. Uh, you can see the infiltration pit there in the background. I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. It should look like this uh, just prior to the inspection, at least in Kitsap County. So that's the 124 square foot infiltration pit. You put down the foot of gravel and then the piping comes in and lays under the gravel and you saw me backfill over the top of the gravel. That's the filter fabric that goes over the top of the gravel. That's, like I was saying, the stuff that you put in your garden to keep weeds away before you put beauty bark or, or the cover over the top. I threw a couple of rocks on top of it just to keep it in place in case the wind blows tonight or who knows, something could happen. So the infiltration pit is sized by your uh, the county and your site development people. Um, this was sized for my shop, and my shop is going to be... Uh, 28 by 32. So from the pit you will see the pipe, 4 inch pipe runs up. In my case I put a 45 right there, came up and in order to make it into the basin I 45 here and came up and 45 again and came over into the basin. This black tub base there is the pot that filters all the stuff off the roof. 
And what you see inside is the inlet tee. So all the rainwater comes from your gutters out of this tee into this tea, into here, goes into the basin, and all the leaves and pine needles and everything settle on the bottom. And then this outlet is four inches lower than the inlet, and in the outlet is a filter sock, which is this. And that goes in the sock, and that keeps any debris from going down into the eye pit, which is down there. So there's my one downspout, and down there around the corner is the other downspout. I'll show you how much I am going to have to backfill so you can see how far under the ground this stuff will be. You can kind of get an idea. from down there you can see that distance right there it's only about 12 inches where down here we are significantly under that level so I will backfill dirt up to about halfway up this foundation wall which covers up the piping The reason I had to put the piping next to the footer is because my doorway here, my man door, my concrete slab will come out over this footer and out over the top of this to be level with the existing concrete slab. And that is what an infiltration pit or eye pit or catch basin or drain basin, I've heard it called a lot of different things. In Kitsap County, they're referred to as an eye pit. Um, one note is that extra remainder, remaining gravel, I had them dump the gravel on top of plastic to help with cleanup. I'll uh, pull the plastic out, and when I go to backfill these piles of dirt, I'll actually put the remaining bits of gravel and things in the hole first. That way it's nice and covered up and clean. You really don't want to put this type of gravel on your driveway. You don't think, oh, I have leftover and I'll go put it on my driveway. That's not a good idea. You want to use uh, three-quarter minus or inch and a half crushed rock for that type of thing. Whereas this is uh, drain rock. So that's all I've got for today. Um, the inspection, like I said, is tomorrow. And hopefully I'll pass. I've done this once on my house before. We didn't have any problems, so I know actually I'll pass. Shouldn't be any problem. That's it for today.